Hi, my name is Obensi Blanc, 55 kilos, uh, I'm a USA Wrestling World Team, and I'm from Naples, Florida. The best thing about the springs is the elevation. So when you come out here and you're working out, you really have to test yourself, not only physically, but mentally. And also a good part of it is we we all come together and train at the same, same place. So uh, that same iron sharp and iron. So this is the place where we come and do it. Yeah, I'd like to really get a little better on my uh, parterre wrestling. I'd like to get a lot better on the mat, countering. I just want to be the best that I can be, I suppose. And for me, I believe that's being a world champ. I really believe that. And so I, that's one of the last things I think about in uh, just being a good person, I guess. <laughs> I think about that all the time, you know, just helping other people out. You know, I just think about my wrestling and being a good human being. I kind of started on the same page. He made his first national team in 2009 when I went for his world team. Nice guy. Uh, we've had some good talks overseas. I know that you know, he uh, just a solid dude, uh, funny guy. He was on fire in 2010, and uh, unfortunately got caught in pin when he was when he was winning. But uh, if he wrestles like that again, uh, this time he's for sure going to come home with some hard work. I'm excited about a few different things. First, I'm engaged, so I'll throw that one out there. Um, another thing that I'm really excited about is the fact that I think I'm wrestling my very best right now and, and, and I want to have that opportunity to prove that I'm number one in the world, you know. Just uh, just when you've worked for something really, really hard, you know, over the past four four years or so, and to feel like you're there, like you're there and, and to have that feeling that you can do it, that, that to me is pretty exciting. And also, I'm a really, really cool point of in my life where my faith is being challenged and, uh, and I'm aware of it and I can uh, really enjoy that moment, that process of getting closer to God. So I mean, those are the best things happening for me right now. It's a responsibility, you know, for me it's like maybe having, for example, like maybe it's like having a kid, you know what I mean? Like you have a kid, you have that responsibility to take care of them and help them grow. So for me, when I'm the guy on the U.S. team, I take that responsibility of training hard every day and going out there in the world championships and looking to get a medal, looking to win. So for me, it's, it's a privilege, but it's also a responsibility, and I'm very honored to, 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 to be able to take that responsibility upon myself. So yeah, sacrifice to me means not, you know, not taking the, the easy way out sometimes. You know what I mean? Like. Like sometimes it's easier to go out with your friends, to drink, to party, to do this, to do that. But you sacrifice all of that sometimes so that you could work out, you know, so that you could make weight, so you could chase a dream, you know what I mean? And, and, and the thing about sacrifices, it pays more than whatever else that you're giving up to sometimes for a moment, you know? And, uh, and a lot of those guys that are wrestling in the NCAA championships who miss out on spring break, you know, they feel that. But, you know, being at where they're at, you get to do something that's going to remain there with you for the rest of your life. You can always go to a beach, you know what I mean? But you sacrifice all that to, to pursue something greater than, than, than who you are or what you are at the moment. So that's what it means to me.